Okay, so there's this thing that I do regularly, and some people think it's sort of <laughs> sort of strange, but the whole point in the focus is on how I purify my vessel. So sometimes I look at this body and I think, this is my fancy ride, this is my skin bag. But the bottom line is, I want this to be open, clear, and free. So there are some very specific things that I do that allow for me to essentially optimize my energy, the work that I do for myself, others in the world, and the love that I'm able to both receive, rest into, and give to the world. So these things are a little bit on the strange side of life, but they actually make a huge difference. So number one, I eat my largest meal in the middle of the day. I always try to do that. I am a glutton for punishment at night because I've come to find that if I go to bed just a little bit hungry, that I sleep better and I actually rise more rested and I need less sleep. So think about it. If my body, when I go to bed at night, is focusing its attention on all the things that it needs to do, like digest the food that I ate and my liver has to process alcohol, et cetera, et cetera. Mm -mm. That does not serve me in terms of me being able to really settle in and rest into recovery. I want my sleeping hours to be as productive as possible. So I eat my largest meal in the middle of the day. When the sun is high in the sky, that is huge. I also rise in the morning and I drink warm water with lime, not lemon, lime. Why lime? Because there's this thing in Ayurveda, which is the sister science to yoga, that tells us that lime has something called prabha. <laughs> prabha is an intelligence that essentially says, I'm not going to come into your body and wreak havoc. I'm not going to come into your body and heat everything up like a lemon does. But instead, I'm going to come in, and if you need a little heat here, there, in another place, I'm going to give you that heat. But if you don't need any heat, I'm just going to let it pass on through. Now, this is Ayurveda. Ayurveda isn't quote-unquote scientific, although your body is the only scientific experiment that you will ever have to focus your attention upon. So, Lyme has Prabha, it has intelligence, and Ayurveda has 12,000 years of experience and the laboratory is right here beloved you're looking at it so those are just two of the things that i do and i'm not going to tell you all the others but you can get the others by just clicking clicking on the link in the description and that will take you there so big love to you thanks for being here and have a glorious remainder of your day whatever time it may be drink some warm water eat your biggest meal in the middle of the day prabha it's everything